Hi, it's Malcolm with a new app I've written called Wear Installer. Wear Installer helps you sideload apps onto your Wear OS device. There's a story behind why I wrote this app that I want to share with you. If you open the Play Store on your watch, you'll know there's an Apps on your phone section, which enables you to easily install apps onto your watch from your phone. Let me show you. If I press the crown and open the Play Store, here it is, Apps on your phone. If I tap on that, here's a list of apps that are on my phone with a Wear OS component. And if I want to install any of them, it's as simple as just, uh, just tapping uh, from this list and uh, the Watch app gets installed. Now, a few days ago, Google emailed me as a Wear OS developer to say they are removing this useful feature entirely from the 10th of March 2021. I'll say more about why this is a problem in a moment. But first, let me show you Wear Installer. Let's uh, open Wear Installer on my phone. I'll bring my phone in. And you will see an introductory screen. And in this screen, I'm going to explain everything needed to sideload Wear OS apps after the 10th of March. We'll do this using just your phone and without needing to use a desktop computer or download specialist software. We have some one time setup to do first. We need to get Wear Installer onto our watch. Hopefully before too long, Wear Installer will be in the Play Store. But for the moment, let's, it's, let's install it using the exact method that Google is shortly going to remove. So let me go to this list. Wear Installer is there. And let me uh, install it. While the app is installing, let's talk some more about this upcoming change. Essentially, Google is trying to force all Wear OS app installations to be through the Play Store. There are a couple of problems with that. Firstly, it's kind of a tradition in Android land that you can sideload apps. While it's fine in most cases to download apps from the Play Store, you may want the freedom to install apps from other sources as well. Secondly, and more importantly, if you reset your watch after the 10th of March, or if you buy a new watch, you've immediately lost access to any legacy watch apps that you might have been using for years. Unless the original developers are still active and provide an update, there's no easy way to get those apps back on your watch. Any way you look at it, that's bad. So that's the rationale why I wrote Wear Installer. Let's go back to the one-time setup. We're going to use something called the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB for short. But don't worry, we're going to make it super easy. Let's start by making ourselves a developer. So on the watch, let's go back, go to settings, Go to system, go to about, and if I tap on the build number seven times, it will make me a developer. So one, two, three, four, five. It says no need, I'm already a developer. Uh, obviously I did this, uh, did this earlier. But having made ourselves a developer on our watch, if we go back, we'll see a new menu item called Developer Options. So let's select that. And in that menu, there's an item called ADB Debugging. Let's turn that on. Yes, I'm sure. And we want to make sure that Debug over Wi-Fi is selected as well, uh, and it is. Now, we're going to need the, uh, the IP address of, uh, of our watch. Um, if, you, if you don't know how to get that, I explain it here in the, uh, on the phone. But um, basically, you go to, uh, on your watch, you go to Settings, Connectivity, Wi-Fi, and tap on your connected network, and uh, it will show you the, um, the IP address. 
And that, uh, that IP address is what you want to enter in this little space down here. Uh, and once you've done it, um, where installer will remember it for future sessions. So you only need to, uh, you only need to do that once unless your, uh, unless your IP address changes. So um, now we've done that, we are done with the one-time setup and we can just press this done button here. And where installer gives us a list of all of the installed apps on our phone. Now from here, we're going to select an app uh, to put onto our watch. Um, unfortunately, I can't only show you the, um, the Wear OS apps because that would just take too long to, uh, to go through and filter the list. But I'm assuming that um, if, you, uh, if you want to install an app on your phone, you know, uh, you know what the name of it is. So it's fairly easy just to scroll down this list and select it. Now, let's start scrolling and let's select an, an app that doesn't have a Wear OS component. Uh, for example, BBC Weather. Now, if I tap on that, it says where component not found. Uh, so that's just a safeguard to make sure we don't end up installing a um, uh, an app that's not intended for our watch. Uh, BBC Weather is just a phone app, so it wouldn't work um, if we tried to sideload that one. But I don't know if you remember um, when I was scrolling through the list on my watch a few uh, a few moments ago, there was a, um, an app called FileBoss, and here it is on, on the phone. Now, FileBoss File is an app that uh, wasn't written by me, it was written by an independent developer uh, probably about five or six years ago, right back in the early days of Android Wear. And I'm kind of attached to this app. I've had it on, um, on all of my watches, uh, and I've just stuck with it as time has gone by. So, um, the, I know the developer has not updated this uh, this app. It still it still uses the legacy method of uh, of installing. So I wouldn't be able to access this app after the tenth of March unless uh, unless I use Wear Installer. So let me demonstrate how it works to install it on my watch. If I tap, and you'll see a connection request on my watch. It says allow debugging. If I just go down and select always allow from this computer, it won't ask me in the future. And you'll see it says ready to install Wear OS APK. I just press install, now installing on your watch. And it's as simple as that, the APK has been installed from the phone to the watch. So let's restart. And Let's now look at downloads. So this is a different way uh, to, uh, to sideload apps. Now, if you have any APK files in the downloads directory on your phone, you can install those onto your watch as well. Uh, and I've got a couple here, as you can see, Fit Strength Training and Mixplorer. Now, Mixplorer uh, actually is a phone app. It doesn't have a, uh, a Wear OS component. So if I try to select that, this APK doesn't seem to be for Wear OS. So again, that's a safeguard to make sure you don't end up installing uh, something onto your watch that wasn't intended for it. But Fit Strength Training, uh, I wrote this out myself, so I know it's, uh, I know it's good. Uh, and this is a Wear OS uh, APK. If I tap on that, it sends it to the watch. Sends it to the watch uh, very quickly ready to install, install. Sometimes with larger files, it takes, um, it takes a, a little bit longer than I'm showing here to, for, the, um, for the APK to be transferred from the phone to the watch. But as you can see, it doesn't take very long and, uh, and now it has uh, been uh, successfully installed on the watch. Uh, so that's it, we can now finish and it reminds me to turn off ADB debugging because if I don't do that, it's gonna run down my battery. So uh, I've done that. And, um, and that's really it. Uh, I wrote where installer primarily for my own use, but I'm making it available for free in case it helps anyone else too. Where installer will hopefully be on the Play Store at some point 
But in the meantime, you can download it from my freepoc.org website. That's F-R-E-E-P-O-C dot org. Uh, or see the link in the, uh, uh, in the text below this video. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.